Hey, what's going on guys? This is your boy C. Will back to you with another video. And yes, this is the first video of 2022. And as you can see, ha -ha, I got some, got some merch, got my first hoodie. And man, if you want to definitely support the channel and you would like a hoodie like this or a t-shirt, whatever the case may be, definitely let a brother know. Hit me down in the comments below. Let me know if you like it or not. And if so, we'll definitely make sure that we make this available on the channel so you can be able to support the channel by purchasing some merch. And so, yeah, um, what we got here today is a M.2 PCIe 4 adapter. You're probably wondering what that's for. And it's for the Samsung 980 Pro that I have in the enclosure here. Um, and so what we're going to do, this is definitely just going to be a quick video uh, for people who, let's say you have a computer, but you don't have an extra M.2 slot to upgrade the actual firmware on the 980 Pro. And that's been like an ongoing thing. So you could definitely check out videos about that um, but let's say that you have an additional PCIe slot well the enclosure doesn't work for updating the actual firmware on the 980 Pro but this actual uh, PCIe adapter should work uh, so Samsung Magician software could be able to recognize it and all that good stuff so what we're going to do is we actually just going to test this out um, this is a Vantec I picked this up from Micro Center uh, this is only 15 bucks um, and so what we're going to do is we're actually going to get this opened up um, and then we will take the actual um, 90 Pro out of this, pop this in, and I'll show you how this goes into the computer and see if uh, the Magista software recognizing. And it should. So let's go. All right. So what we have here, we have this little tool that we use to pop open the enclosure. Real simple. And this pops open. And as you can see, the 90 Pro on the inside. So, oh. Uh, what we need to do is I need to get a flathead screwdriver and we got the iFixit here. So we're just going to pop that out, pop this one in and we are going to unscrew this, which is great. And I was actually going to take this out anyway. Um, and at the same time, what I am going to do is actually put my 500 gigabyte uh, drive back in here so I can just use it for extra storage. Boom, that does that. This goes back on top. Boom, there it is. All right, so we are actually going to sit that to the side and let's open this up. And like I said, I got it for 15 bucks at Micro Center and um, they have a bunch of different drives that you could get. This did not come with the heat sink, um, but we actually didn't need it because I'm not going to use... The 980 Pro, it's not even going to even be in the system that long. All I want to do is just use it to be able to upgrade the software, take it out. Um, but I do recommend um, they have some of these that come with um, heat sinks. And so if you're actually going to be using this for a standard amount of time, um, I would tell you to get a uh, actual heat sink and you can be able to attach to that. You know, if you had planned on using this for a long time to keep the dry cool. Um, but since we are not, not going to worry about putting that on right now. Okay. We've got a couple of things here. Instructions. We have the bracket. And let's see what all, and it came with actual screwdriver. Static bag here. Um, and this is like super simple. So it even gives you the actual standoffs um, and the actual uh, screws to be able to screw this down. So what we are going, oh, um, but it all it actually has a plate that's attached and this may be actual different plate uh, or bracket that we would use in a different scenario. Maybe it's for a smaller bracket, but we're gonna use the one that's attached here. And so we could sit this on top of the back. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to take the M.2 drive. Um, as you can see, it gives you the different millimeters. This is a 80 millimeter. Um, so this does a 42, 60 and 80. Um, so you can actually be able to put this in at an angle. Slide that in. Um, and what we are going to do, take the screws that we have in here. Let's just pour them out. And it looks like we actually have standoffs. I think it goes the other way around. So this actually goes up under the bottom. 
Then I put it on the bottom this time, and then let's see if it screws in. So that's how it looks. So the only thing that we sh should need to do now is actually just uh, pop this into the PCIe slot. Um, this is this particular adapter is PCIe 3.0, uh, even though my drive is 4.0, but this should work just for updating the firmware purposes. So let's take a look. All right, guys, so um, we got the system back up and running. Let's click on Samsung Magician. Ah, you see that Samsung 9 SSD 980 Pro. Voila. So it picks up on it. Uh, and this is what we was looking for the enclosure to actually do, but the enclosure doesn't work. But the PCIe times four adapter does work. And so like if you wanted to go in and you want to upgrade the actual firmware, uh, all you have to do is actually go over to update and then firmware update and we're already on the latest firmware update um but this is how you will actually go in if the update was available you would just go here and you click update um and then you just update the drive so again if you have a computer or maybe you could use a friend's computer but let's say they don't have an extra m.2 slot um then you can actually be able to just pick up the actual pcie um adapter um attach the m.2 to it pop it in update the firmware and keep it moving um so definitely hey let me know down in the comments below if this helps you out um but this is just another way to be able to update the actual firmware on the samsung 980 pro so you can be able to use inside your playstation 5 and get those higher read speeds um there's also been some talks about the sabrent uh rocket plus and some people are having some issues i didn't have any issues i actually just did another um format of this drive in my playstation 5 because some people were saying that uh, they you know they weren't getting the actual higher read speeds that i was getting um but i still ended up getting like 64 uh megabytes per second so i don't know what's going on with some people's drives so but um, I know some people say that there's a firmware update that's out for this, but I didn't need that. You know, I used it right out of the box. Um, the, the initial time I put it in the PlayStation 5, it read at like 5700, which is weird. I reformatted it again, um, 60, you know, 6500. And then I just did it just for giggles today. Um, and I got 6400. So not sure what's going on with some people's drives, but definitely make sure that you reach out to Sabrent or wherever you got it from. Um, and if you're not getting the correct speeds, definitely um, get your money back um, if you can. I don't think it makes a big difference in between um, the actual performance of the drive in the PlayStation 5. Um, but I also know that, you know, once you see something, you can't get it out of your mind. So um, I would pretty much feel the same way, <laughs> you know, if I, was, if I wasn't getting the actual specified read speed. So um, definitely, you know, we could talk about that in the comments below. Um, if you want to support the channel, uh, hit the actual links down in the description below, the actual affiliate links. Um, no additional cost to you for using those links, uh, but it does help out the channel. And again, merch. If you definitely want to be able to help, help out the channel and you want to be able to support the channel, then I will be having some merch coming soon. So, man, I see y'all in the next video. Happy New Year. Peace.